Okay, so right now we're going to uh, burn pattern on a um, uh, Elgin Eagle. And then uh, we're gonna take a look at the pattern and we're going to make adjustments if need be. Now the pattern is very important because if the pattern isn't correct, the machine won't sweep properly. Okay, so now we've burned pattern with the machine. So we're gonna come back here and take a look and see what that pattern is gonna produce. So let's come over here. This is our left side gutter broom. Uh, you can see a pattern on the ground. Our right side gutter broom. So here's our main broom over here. You can see it had some debris in it. So what I'm looking for is on my left side, I'm looking for a one o'clock nine o'clock position so something in this area to this area and the reason for that is maximum reach out and then it pulls it into a one o'clock position that picks up the coverage of the main broom so anything getting pulled in from the gutter broom makes it in front of the main broom so on the right side we're looking at an 11 o'clock and three o'clock pattern uh, we've got that. This side might be a little bit heavy, uh, but it would sweep, and that'll bring it inside the main broom. Now, looking at the pattern here, it, it's actually pretty good. It's hard to see, but we have a pattern about four inches wide, pretty even all the way across. Uh, if anything, I might set it up so that I'm a half inch light on the right-hand side. Uh, the reason for that is because this is the sweep side, and as debris comes in, there's more debris on the sweep side, so it loads up the broom and pulls it down. So if we burn a pattern and it's even, but the broom wears slightly on the right-hand side, the, the sweep side, then we would wanna set this up a little bit lighter. So there's a lot of different ways to set it up, depending on how the machine is specced. Uh, this machine has uh, transducers, so any adjustments has to be done with either the type of broom or with programming. So if it had mechanical suspension on it, then we would make a link adjustment to compensate for any kind of uh, pattern wear on each side. The uh, gutter brooms are adjusted from inside the cab, uh, light, uh, medium to heavy. So we can make an adjustment, take a look. We've got tilt, so we can set tilt to try and get the pattern that we want on it, uh, in cab tilt. Uh, also, if you run into overlay or curbing, you can make adjustments from inside the cab um, to catch that coverage and bring it in. So sweeping isn't rocket science, it's more of an art form. So you have to keep an eye on what you're doing. Uh, if you're trailing, you make a minor adjustment. Uh, what works good on this side of town may not work so good on the other side of town, so it's knowledge.